Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make an ottoman from this kit. In the kit you have two circles that are hollow, one with little notches taken out and one with little dots. And then you have four little legs. Now I went ahead and painted my legs with a paint marker. It's an acrylic paint marker. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is you need to take these two circles and you need to glue them together. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and use some crazy glue. Then I'm going to also put a tiny bit of wood glue on here and this one comes out pretty fast, so. We'll just kind of blot it on there. After that, without gluing your fingers to the project or together, you are gonna sandwich these two together. Just like that. After that, you want to go ahead and put some glue on this one. And then this one has a pattern, and then the non-pattern side will get glued. Now, at this point, it's hollow inside. So we wanna go ahead and get our material. I'm using the same fuzzy stuff that I use for the bed and the sofa bench. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some glue right along here. And then I take my glue gun and I just go back and I smooth it around it. Just to kind of flatten it out so it's not bulky. Alright. Now, I don't want a whole lot hanging over the edge, but just enough. So I'm going to do just that. And I should have just a tiny bit at the bottom. And then when you've got it wrapped all the way around there, you want to take your material and you want to cut the excess off almost to the part where it's even. Right now you have that part in the middle, so here's where it's at. You don't want to cut all the way down, but you do want to take and cut pretty close. This is where it's at, so I'm going to come out a little bit, and I'm going to cut all the way around it. Just like that. Now 
Now I'm going to go around the edge of the inside. with the hot glue and then I'm going to tuck this inside I want to make sure that doesn't come out so I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit more glue right along that inner edge and I'm just kind of rubbing that glue gun right into that fabric in there but not to get it on the top it should look like that And I've glued that piece there together and now I just want to go around very lightly leaving it like that now make sure you can still see your feet holes and you can come back and glue that after the fact. This one it looks like I kind of glued shut from the inside. All right, that one's still there and that's there. All right, so now so I don't finish gluing my legs shut, I'm going to go ahead and put them on by putting a little bit of super glue. And I'm putting on where the glue is facing And the legs are facing just like that. So they're not like this. They're like that. That way when you look at it, you're seeing only that part. Somewhere I've lost the other leg. I'll be right back. Sneaky little bugger was hiding from me on that thing there. Make sure they're all down. All right, now go back and glue any parts that did not go down the first time Now that you have that done, set that aside. And then you want to take this piece and you want to make sure you have enough fabric to wrap over it, which that barely does it. So I'm going to get something bigger.
Okay, so they have the fuzzy side again and then the not so fuzzy side. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on this side. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna kind of put a, just a little bit of glue around this to help it stick to this. I'm gonna press it nice and flat. Then I'm gonna trim up some of this excess material. Once that's done, then you want to go ahead and put a little bit of glue around that edge. Now I'm turning it upside down and I'm putting pressure on it so that I can get it as flat as I can while the glue is still warm. I'm just putting glue on the excess pieces that look like they might want to flip up. And this time I can't turn it down because it'll stick to the table for sure. Okay, so you want to get yourself a needle. And I like to use serging or embroidery thread for this. You can get giant rolls of it online. Amazon has it. Um, you can get it on like the fabric store, like Joanne Fabric. AC or AC Moore is no longer, but you could have gotten it there when it was open. And uh, Hobby Lobby has it as well. So I felt um, folded it in half. And now I'm gonna tie it in a knot. So I have four pieces of thread. And I'm just spinning that in there. Don't mind my fingers, they're disgusting from the glue. Okay, so I got a nice tight knot there. Just to make sure I got it the way I want it, I'm gonna do it there. One more, let's see if this is dry. Yes it is. Okay, so for the very first one, I'm going to put it through the fabric and only through the fabric. Okay, once I go through the fabric, then I'm going to go up through the hole. And I have seed beads. You can use gems if you like. I chose seed beads because I had them already and they're cheaper. So you can do it with just one in the middle and call it a day. Or you can continue your process and you can do all five.
So as my middle string wants to keep pulling, I'm going to knot that off and I'm going to go back through that fabric real quick so that it'll stop pulling on me. Now, there's my thing. If you have a hard time finding it, just go through the opposite end and you'll be able to find where your hole is. And it would have five little dots like that, which would simulate buttons. Now, just to finish this off, I'm going to take it through here. And because I'm going through glue, it's a little hard to get that needle through there. go back through the opposite side and that should give me a nice X oh, I pulled it through the glue let me try that again Now that I've done that, I'm just going to knot it off right there in the center. I'm going to cut my string, but not quite all the way down. I'm going to leave a little fishtail on there. And that's because I want to glue it. That way all of my strings stay intact. Now, at this point, you can leave this open and use that for storage and put some material and line the inside of it to where you wouldn't see anything there, you know, but you'd need something thinner. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna glue this on top. So very gently, I'm putting it on the inside, not all the way out, because I don't want this glue to squish out to where you're seeing it just barely getting it there and then I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to rub it around to where it barely touches it. Do you see how it's going around it? Then I'm going to take my little hasset top and I'm going to sandwich it together just like that. And then there you have a little tiny hasset. You don't want to see this, like if you're going to turn it over or whatever and you think you might see it, that's fine. Just go ahead and take a small piece of fabric and glue it to the bottom.
You may need a vacuum when you're done with this. But there you have the little hasset. Now, if you've watched the tutorial on how to make this little sofa bench that went with this bed, then this is what you would use this little hasset for. As you can see, her little feet can prop up on there. Again, it's two rings and that. Now, if you're using it as a vanity bench, then you'll need three rings. If you wanna sit tall and if you wanna sit at her height, which is right there, then two rings is perfect. One more ring would bring her up just a tiny bit taller, but not much. So she would work perfect. And I will be making a vanity to go with this set. So check back, like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below, and I will see you in the next video. The bedroom set with bling comes in a kit. You can design it how you want. You don't necessarily have to do the white fuzzies on any of this. You can do it with any kind of material, but I would suggest if you did it with anything to do like a velour or something like that, velvet maybe. Um, I may go back and add something to the bed sheet to give a little color to it. I'm not sure yet. Maybe a very, very pale pink or something with a little glimmer to it. Pretty cute, I think, for a girly bling. And there she goes, sitting on her sofa bench. So you would put the bed in the room with the dresser and the vanity and everything, and maybe this part can sit off to the side. All right, guys, have a wonderful, wonderful day. Don't forget to check out my Etsy shop and go to dollhousetutorials.com. I'll leave a link below for the Etsy shop. It's under Crafts by Laurie for you. And that's the number four and the um, letter U. All right, thanks a lot. Have a wonderful, wonderful day.